Steady. Steady. Perfect. There we go. All of our starting machines are on the rock. That was requested by a viewer. Fly, Ferguson, fly! Oh, wait. I was under the rock. Hello everybody and welcome back to Survival Challenge. So the price for the canola straw is still decreasing. It's amazing. But today in this episode we will be resting, so we'll see what happens overnight. Hopefully it starts to increase. Here it is, £123 for a thousand litres, which it's not terrible. It's not, you know, compared to standard straw, that's actually really good. But we can do so much better. Standard straw is just 40. Uh, so yeah, hopefully by the morning the price would have gone up quite a bit and we'll be able to make a serious amount of money. But I think it's probably going to be more like the end of the next in-game day at the earliest. But you never know. Anything could happen overnight. Right, so we have the grass field here. Just cutting it down. The reason why I'm cutting it now and not doing more fertilizer is because I was silly and I left it too late. At least I think I did. Yeah, I tested it and I'm pretty sure it didn't work. So anyway, we're cutting it. We're gonna put it into the pit, make the pit nice and full again. And I think th this might be the last time that we actually do grass in that pit. I say pit quite a bit. <laughs> uh, no, I, I think probably in the future, the pit work is gonna be with maize and we're going to have a larger silage clamp. I think the grass work can be done a different way. There's different things that we can do. I'm actually hoping to um, to maybe do some hay. Might be able to get some money out of hay. I know it's not worth as much, but if we've already got maize in the silage clamp, that's all we need. We won't really need to do too much grass. Now I know financially, that might not be the best way of doing it. But that is because I'm going to be focusing more on the arable crops. The grass will just be extra whenever we need it. So yeah, the goal is still to make as much money as possible. We're still trying to upgrade the machinery, buy more land. But I'm just going to try and move away from getting that money from silage every time. I would love to do sugar beet. I really want to get sugar beet in. Uh, the issue with sugar beet is the cost of the machinery. The price of the machinery is extravagant. It's so expensive. So unless I can find a mod where it will only cost us maybe £20,000, £30,000 to get a small harvester, I think it's going to be a little while. But not too long. Once I've sold those canola bells, the sunflowers just here, and also all this grass as fermented silage, I think we'll have enough. We should have enough money to be able to do sugar beet. Now if I was doing leasing, we could do it straight away. No issues at all. But we're going to have to go for purchasing a used version of the smallest sugar beet harvester, which is still very expensive. Anyway, yep, just going to crack on here. won't take too long to get this cut. As you can see, we're absolutely flying over it. Just got to do over there. And then I think, yeah, we'll be able to... Um, get the windrow attached to the other Fiat tractor. Oh no, it's not the other Fiat tractor anymore. We only have one Fiat. Good. <laughs> it means that I don't have to keep saying the other one. I like Fiat tractors, it's just having two gets confusing. So yes, the blue Fiat.
In the previous episode, I had quite a few people saying I should sell some pigs. I'll take a look and see how many we've got, because the pigs can be worth quite a bit of money, but it can also be counterproductive selling them at this stage, since the more we have, the more we're going to produce. So in the end, we'll make much more. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think it's the right time, but yeah, we'll have a look. As for the sheep, they're doing well. They're really expanding. It will be interesting to see how many we have. Okay, 16 sheep. Cleanliness, hmm. Need to get the broom out. And 31 pigs. They're going to need some food. Uh, and cleanliness, again, is, is not good. So, the food is an issue. The corn we've got growing. Oh, good, they take sunflowers too. So we have sunflowers growing. Um... And hopefully we can get some sugar beet. The wheat and the barley currently is an issue, but the field over there, we are about to drill. I was going to put corn in. I suppose we could split it 50-50. That would work. Right, so the cleanliness, I think, does affect a few things here. So it's best to keep them clean. Even if I do move the brush <laughs> sideways. And, yeah, the um, the pigs. They need to be cleaned as well. Ooh, I've, no, you can't tab to the um, the broom. But you can tab to the enclosure. Oh, wow. Pigs, you really have been messy. You've been acting like real animals. There. Good. Nice and clean. We do have a lot, actually. But it's a good thing. And eventually, we'll be able to sell loads in one go. No more floating pigs. That's because I had the ground up. Not level. So that's all sorted. And the sunflowers are looking good. Now, the one thing which sort of slows us down is the windrow. So it would be interesting to see if we can afford a bigger windrow. The one which I have is okay, um, but yeah, you can get much bigger. We have the machinery to power it. In fact, windrows barely take any power. So, let's just take a look here. We currently have this, which was fairly cheap. I'm hoping that we can go for... Crikey, they're expensive. This one, used. 42. Uh, potentially, if I sold my one, that would be quite a bit of money though in one go for something we're not going to be doing much more on. Okay, so I've been having a flip through some of my comments over the past week, and I found a comment saying that you can get this exact windrow but only with a hitch on the back for a baler. Sounds intriguing. It would mean we're not putting it in the pit, but we'd also do it all in one go. So kind of leaves the question, do we do we do individual, do we, do we wrap it afterwards? I do still have the wrapper. That could work. Right, I'm going to go and get the mod. We'll see how much it costs. I don't think it's much more expensive than the one I just showed you. So we really could do two jobs in one go. Which is what I want to do, because at the moment, sort of spending an entire episode on one thing and we really need to get the crop in. So, yeah, see you in a second. I found it. It looks fantastic. Uh, it's by White Ball Modding, and it is exactly what I said. It's a, it's a rake, but you can attach a baler to it. I don't know how that would actually work, since the baler would require a PTO, but we'll, we'll take a look. It's always the best way of going about things. Uh, right, so get a bit of money back for that. We can afford it quite nicely, so we're not wasting money here. Uh, in fact, that one is 23. This one is 28. So you are paying a bit more for all of the... Uh, it does have a PTO. Yeah, you can see the shaft just popping through here. Uh, and we could buy used. Yep, we'll buy used. Colour, I would imagine, is going to cost us... Yeah, £1,000. Hmm, does look good, though, in a different colour. Okay. I'm on this occasion because we're buying it used. I'm going to have that different colour. Uh, and 
yeah, I'm gonna have to get straight into the workshop. Oh, look at it. All dirty and paint coming off. It'll look like new soon. Right, so yeah, we've got plenty of hydraulic hoses. Takes loads. And the PTO there. That comes to the back. And you can see the shaft just there. So, yeah, I think all the hydraulics are for the baler and the electrics. Nice. That is just a, a very ingenious idea. Yeah, so not doing pit work today. We're not going to wrap them today. We'll wrap them next time. I would like to say that by the end of this episode, I will have drilled half of that field. But I, I just don't know. Uh, why are my hazards on? That's weird. They're not on on the exterior. But they're definitely flashing. So there is our baler. I think on this occasion it's actually a good thing that it's a sort of compact baler. The only way this could be even better uh, would be if we had the baler and wrapper combination. That would just be <laughs> astonishingly fast. It would go from just grass laying in the field to a totally wrapped bale. Okay, let's just see if we can fish it out of there. We can. Good. Maybe I should have chosen red as the colour. And yes, I mustn't forget to put it through the workshop. So eager to get started. Right, hope that's in range. Get our tools out. £215, not bad. And it should be nice and clean. No, sorry, nice and painted. We make it nice and clean. Yes, I, I always wash my machinery before making them dusty. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Yeah, it really was dirty. Okay, that's good enough. Back into the tractor. And we will begin. So, yes, I don't have uh, variable capacity, so it looks like we're going to be making standard size bales. If it looks like we're going to be making too many, I can adjust it, but I don't want to adjust it. So we'll try and go without to begin with. Is that working? Nope. Helps if you lower the baler. Okay, so we still have the fun task of emptying the baler. Something I forget to do. It's quite a crucial part of baling. Uh, it looks like we're not going too fast while doing this. So yeah, as for drilling half of the other field by the end of this episode I just don't know but that looks really good no 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 I've forgotten again as I said I play with the sound off which might sound weird but I don't like playing with headphones so yeah I mean <laughs> if you're not going to play with headphones I can't speak as long because you'd have a, an echo so I play with no sound. I have done for years. But you do get the sound. Uh, except for the previous episode where for some reason I had it on 20%.
Well, not bad. We're getting there. It's now looking likely that I'll be able to put in half of the other field. Uh, so yeah, it's not it's not taking too long to do this, but we are stopping quite a bit, producing loads of bales. Uh, it's more the wrapping time now, which is going to be the concern. But the wrapper which I currently have, uh, it, it, well, no, it's not the fastest, is it? It's quite slow, but it doesn't have to be all done in one go. I'm not sure if there is one like a stationary wrapper. I know there's a stationary baler. If we could maybe maybe get them all picked up and take them back to the yard and wrap them and put them straight into the BGA. Sounds weird, uh, putting all the plastic straight into the BGA, but you know how the game works. It's it's just like that. Right. Okay. So I'm just gonna just gonna finish off this middle section. There really isn't too much left to do. Should be done in about five minutes time. And once it is done, we'll take a look at the stats and we'll see exactly how many bells I have produced. It is looking promising, but they're all set to 4,000 litres. Oh, there we go again. Okay. Yeah, so I'll see you in about 25 seconds. And there we go. It's going to be an annoying amount left over, I think. Oh, no, look. Brilliant. It's probably going to be about 10% full. Because I did miss a piece just over the far side. But what are you thinking about the amount of bales? I haven't looked. No point cheating. I'm thinking... 55. That might be a bit much. Um, we'll, we'll have a look. So, everybody have a guess. If you'd like to, see how close you were. 43. If you said 43, well done. Of course, there's no way of proving it, but yes, you'll know yourself if you guessed 43. Uh, right, so we'll take this back to the yard, and then we, we do need to get that plant going. I was expecting to rest in this in-game day, like I said, but it's not looking likely anymore, but that is fine. So, oh, very zoomed in. There we go. Right, so into the blue fears, finally. First time it's been used since the introduction. We have, um, I, I think we have quite a bit of seed in here, but we have some more seed over there. If necessary. Yep, yeah, that's good. Uh, we currently set sunflowers. We can also do soybeans, sugar beet, cotton and corn. Uh, so yeah, sugar beet definitely in the near future. Thing is though, we could we could still put it in because it takes time to grow and we'd have, we'd have to harvest it immediately. But today we are putting in a strip of corn. I think I used this tractor before. Hopefully it has enough power. It does need to be serviced actually. Uh, but if it, yeah, even if it's serviced and it doesn't have the power, I can use the John Deere. That John Deere is a powerful thing. So which side of the field should I put the corn? I'm thinking over the far side. We'll go this way so we can see the other corn field. And the pigs. Hello again, pigs. Oh no, they're everywhere. So I'm going to put my dividing line in. We could even put three crops in this field. I could leave the far side for sugar beet. Should we do it in thirds? I think we should do. So if I go up to here, I say that is maybe just over a third. Up to about here. If I if I sort of follow that tram line, but not in such a curve. If I just go straight across, then that should be good. We'll get a better idea of how much, what sort of percent of the field I've covered using the above view, using the minimap. But if I just initially put this line in, 
I should get a pretty good idea. Yeah, it's actually a really weird shaped field. Not only is it a, it's an angle to the map, but it's also curved around the trees. That's what makes them interesting. Yeah, so you'll have seen in the previous episode, I ploughed this, well, no, cultivated this, and I put digestate on it, which is why it's all shiny. Shiny and nice. So it's, good, it's a good field, very good field. Right, okay, so we need to put the grass on, there we go. About a third, yeah, that is about a third. That's good. That's as much corn as we're going to need anyway. We already have a cornfield. It's mostly going to be fed to the pigs. And then I think up against the corn we're going to have wheat or barley. I don't know which one, it doesn't really matter because again, it's probably going to be fed to the, straight to the pigs. And then finally, over there we'll have the sugar beet. Yeah, that is the best way of doing it, I think, because then we're not going to have a drill up against where we've already drilled. Like Here we currently have a planter, so it shouldn't, the planter shouldn't overwrite the cedar, but I think the cedar can overwrite the planter. I'm talking a load of rubbish, <laughs> uh, but there might be some truth in that. Okay, so if I crack on, the tractor is pulling it fine, that's good. Like I said, I think we have plenty of seed. And even if we run out, we have more in the yard. And then once this is done, we can rest between this episode and the next episode. And then many things should have happened. We'll have more money from the placeables. We'll be able to um, ferment those silage bells, or, or those grass bells. And also, hopefully, most importantly, the price of those canola bells will have gone up really hope they do. Let's just have a quick look at the current price. Not much time has passed. Still decreasing, so I think only the night time is going to change this. And there we have our corn strip. So, yeah, we did need more seed. The hoppers aren't very large, they're just small. And actually, interestingly, because I got a little bit confused a few episodes back, probably about two weeks ago, I was, well, I already bought the liquid fertilizer to put in these, because I thought that's what you put in these. And then I had to buy the um, the solid fertilizer, which are that's what you put in these in, in the game. But apparently, in real life, you actually do put liquid fertilizer in these, so that really confused me, because I was right, but I was I was wrong. And uh, yeah, it, it's measuring it in litres and gallons. I mean, that kind of implies a liquid, but not not necessarily. But um, yeah, interesting. So, did I cover everything? Yes, I did, nice and orange. So I'm thinking eventually what we'll do uh, is we'll, we'll put this field here, the cornfield at the top, as sugar beet as well, after we've harvested. This piece here can be sugar beet, and that, that still actually wouldn't leave that much sugar beet anyway, so we might do this field of sugar beet as well, potentially, not necessarily. Um, yeah, so, it's going well. Let's head back to the yard. Next week, we will get the rest of this field completed, we'll get the bells wrapped, and yeah, obviously more harvesting. That field at the top, the sunflowers will need to be done. Might be able to do a bit more dancing combine. <laughs> uh, hilarious stuff. Right. Uh, actually, somebody said that I should just compile all of my introductions as a video. It's a good idea. 
I'll try to. Should we sell those silage bells? I think we should do. We'll get paid at midnight. Bouncy bells. Yes, there's a bit of extra. These bells came from that grass field there. For anybody who missed the episode. Come on, bale. Yes, I won't put this away because we're, we're going to need it for the sugar beet. So I will just park it somewhere out of the way, like here, with the other drills, which will be sold eventually. I do want to replace them. They're, they're great. They've been such a fantastic short-term solution, but they're not the easiest to manoeuvre. So eventually we'll get one of a similar width, but as one unit. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video, and until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.